years, marijuana has been smoked by millions, recreationally and medicinally. Despite its low level of health risks, today's laws still prohibit our sole right of using this plant. Up until 1883, cannabis was the largest crop in the world. It was used in fabric, lighting oil, medicines, paper, and fiber. The first marijuana law ever made was in 1619, ordering farmers to grow more cannabis. I am totally against legalizing marijuana. Marijuana opposers say it is a harmful drug. They point to things such as marijuana impairs your judgment and is a gateway drug. We sat down with MHS's own security personnel, Chris Vaughn, to see why he opposes marijuana. Well, you just got to keep checking back. I mean, this is October, so probably will be here till March or November. Okay. Uh, why shouldn't marijuana be legalized? Uh, no, I don't think it should be legalized. Um, and the main reason is because of the secondary smoke. Um, unlike alcohol, it affects people around you. And uh, I don't think people should have the right to get other people high without their wanting to get high. What are some of the consequences for someone being caught with marijuana? As far as um, what are the consequences for getting caught with possession, uh, it depends. Legally, it can be anything from community service to jail time. Uh, School-wise, it's pretty cut and dry. Its uh, first offense is a minimum five days. Um, you have to do a drug assessment to get back into school and have a meeting with an administrator. Second offense goes all the way up to 10 days, and third and above can be the rest of the year or the rest of the semester. Have you ever smoked marijuana? And have I ever smoked marijuana? Um, actually, no, I never have. I have really bad allergies to it, and so um, I've never, never had the urge to do it. But I have been around it a lot when I was in high school. Now that you have heard the opposition side, let's get to the top eight reasons why marijuana should be legal. Reason number eight, prohibition failing. Over 25 million users annually have been reported. Since it is a major cash crop, it cannot be sustained. Reason number seven. A regulated legal market in marijuana would reduce marijuana sales and use among teenagers. Drug dealers do not care about the age of buyers, but in a legal market, stores would be prohibited to sell to minors. The illegality of marijuana makes it more valuable than if it were legal, providing incentives for teenagers to make easy money selling it to their friends. Reason number six, marijuana legalization would simplify the development of hemp as a valuable and diverse agricultural crop in the U.S. Canada and European countries manage to support legal hemp cultivation without legalizing marijuana. In the U.S., opposition to legalized marijuana remains the biggest obstacle to the development of industrial hemp as a valuable agricultural commodity. Reason number five, legalizing marijuana would reduce the cash flow to international gangs. Marijuana's illegality makes foreign cultivation and smuggling into the U.S. extremely profitable, sending billions overseas in an underground economy while diverting funds from productive economic development. Reason number four, marijuana is not a lethal drug. Statistics have shown that over 37% of car accidents are caused by alcohol alone in the United States. In moral sense, it is unfair to treat marijuana users more harshly than users of alcohol or tobacco. Reason number three, marijuana is too expensive for our justice system and should instead be taxed. The costs of arresting 750,000 individuals a year are immense. Marijuana arrests waste jail space, clog up our court systems, and divert time of police, attorneys, judges, and correction officials away from serious crime. The taxation of marijuana can provide needed and generous funding of many programs. Reason number two. The positive attributes of marijuana are proven. Medicinally, many people use it to relieve pain, spasticity, and other serious symptoms. Marijuana is preferred over alcohol by many adults as a mild and moderate way to relax with relatively low side effects. And finally, reason number one, prohibition is based on lies and misinformation. The dangers of marijuana have been exaggerated for almost a century. Claims of marijuana's danger are based on old 20th century prejudices that originated in a time when science was uncertain how marijuana produced its characteristic effects. 1974, the Heath Tulin study. Ronald Reagan announces 
The most reliable scientific sources say permanent brain damage is one of the inevitable results of the use of marijuana. Monkeys pumped full of marijuana, apparently 30 joints a day, had begun to atrophy and die after 90 days. Brain damage was determined after counting the dead brain cells of both monkeys who had been subjected to the marijuana and ones who had not. This study became the foundation of the government and other special interest groups claim that marijuana kills brain cells. Here's what they didn't tell you. After six years of requests, how the study was conducted was finally revealed. Instead of administering 30 joints a day for one year, Dr. Heath used a method of pumping 63 Colombian strength joints through a gas mask within five minutes over three months. They suffocated the monkeys. What they did is they put these gas masks basically on their face and they pump pot into it, but without additional oxygen. So after X amount of time, the brain shut down. Well, if you suffocate, the first thing that's going to happen is your brain cells are going to die with lack of oxygen. So what they did is they suffocated the monkey, showed all these dead brain cells, and then, uh, then went on to associate it by saying that cannabis use causes your brain cells to die. So now that you've heard the facts, what can we do about it? Well, to change the laws, the people must vote. Vote in senators and representatives that have the right perspective on the marijuana issue and the rational laws will change over time.